Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nina Sperano. John has the night off. State records show hundreds of registered sex offenders live in Green Bay, and soon that number will be one more. Tonight, some neighbors and police chief say that this one is different. NBC 26's Matt Jarko shows us why. On the 900 block of Liberty Street, there are no schools, parks, or daycares. Just a few spots in Green Bay are like it, a spot where a sex offender can live. It's just getting out of hand. Karen Stower was one of many neighbors at a public meeting Monday, frustrated and concerned another sex offender will move nearby this week. I, I was appalled. I was appalled that they would even think of doing that and putting more in there, and especially with the background of this individual that's coming in. The incoming offender is 65-year-old Bruce Brown. He's been convicted multiple times of sexual assault. One of the victims was a 14-year-old girl. All of the crimes were committed in Milwaukee, more than 100 miles away. That's the big problem for me is the fact that this individual is coming from another city and another county far away to our city. Uh, he has no connection here as far as I know. There's no relatives here as far as I know. So why and how is Brown coming to Green Bay? According to state officials, it's on the order of a Milwaukee County judge who decided on Green Bay as part of a statewide search. Our hands are tight. So, you know, the community is out here tonight to let you know that this can't keep going like this. That concern echoed Monday night. Because we don't want this person moving here yet. But in this case, it's not enough. Another sex offender is set to move in later this week. Matt Jarko, NBC 26. State officials say once he moves in, Brown will be on GPS monitoring, will be subject to scheduled and unscheduled visits, and will not be able to leave his house without supervision.